In this video, we're going to be talking about uh, becoming a finisher. One of the critical things that you've got to be able to do is, is to develop an identity because an identity is really powerful. Okay, an identity is probably one of the most powerful forces on earth for controlling your behavior and your actions. Like you are, you can only act as if you are, okay? And there's a lot of quotes, famous quotes around this. Ralph Waldo Emerson said something along the lines of, you know, try as you might, I can only, you know, or whatever you say, it doesn't matter, you know, you, 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 what you are betrays you, right? Something along those lines, I'm, I'm misquoting it horribly. What you, what you believe about yourself is really important because you can try and control your actions, right? You can use willpower to temporarily restrain yourself from doing something, but it's much easier to just change who you are and then those actions flow naturally from that. So your identity today needs to change from being someone who doesn't finish what they started to being a finisher. And this is critical to your success. This is critical to achieving those goals because that is one of the components that is gonna determine whether or not you actually do what you say you're gonna do, right? Now, for me in life, okay, I was not a finisher, okay? I remember, you know, so many things, so many projects that I started, so many apps I was gonna create when I was programming, so many games I was gonna make, so many hobbies I took up from soccer to karate to whatever it was, right? And I, I never finished. I never wrote a book. I started books. I started all kinds of projects and all kinds of things and I never completed them because I didn't see myself as a finisher and I didn't see that as a big deal. When you think about it, all that time, all that effort, is wasted, right? Because it, it didn't go anywhere. It didn't actually have an output, right? Uh, you know, an, an example I, I've talked about a lot in this in this series is like my book, right? So I wrote this book, Complete Software Developer Screw Guide. It's about 200,000 words. It's a big ass book, all right? Now, had I had written 95% of that book, okay, and not completed it, I would achieve 0%, exactly 0% of the value of it. I would not make any money from that book. Okay. Now, in one of the other videos, I told you how much money I've made from that book. Go ahead and, if you if you if you remember, a little quiz here. Go ahead and write that in the comments below. How much money did I make at the time of recording this video, approximately, from the Complete Software Developer's Career Guide? Okay. Now, the only reason why I say that is because I want you to understand that the difference of the five percent of being a finisher or not equaled the hundred percent of the value of that money that I made from the book and the intangible you know, value of that book. Okay, so that is how life is. That is how your projects are. Whatever goals you're trying to accomplish now, right? You probably, you, you probably will make a good amount of progress on it, okay? But if you don't finish it, you'll get pretty much zero benefit from it. You might gain some like growth and, and development benefit from it, but you're basically not going to gain the full benefit that you could. Now, I know in the last video I said, it's not about the results, it's about who you become. So I'm becoming great by working on shit, bullshit. You become great by finishing shit, okay? Your, your, psych, your subconscious, okay? Your mind does not allow you to gain credit for the shit that you don't complete, okay? If you go and you train and run a marathon and you run 25 miles in 20, instead of 26.2 and don't cross the finish line, your, your brain says you're a failure. And it's right, because you fucked up. Because you didn't finish. Because you don't get credit for that. Your brain doesn't say, well, you're pretty fucking tough. You ran 25 miles. Yes, 26.2 is an arbitrary number. But it's important because the concept here is that you've finished. Okay, we, our, we can't fool our subconscious. We can't fool our brains, okay? They, it knows when we're, we mean business or not. And here's really an important point, point about this. If you wanna become successful in life, being a non-finisher will cause you to waste a lot of energy, okay, on, 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 and not get results. Your own ability to believe yourself is critical. Okay, so if I tell myself I'm going to do something, I do it, I'm a finisher, I complete it. If I can't trust myself, if I have no trust in myself, like most people do, like you, honestly, you probably don't, right? Most of us do not have trust in ourselves. I can say I do have trust in myself because I've worked on that hard, I am a finisher, okay? Now you might be a finisher, you might be watching this, cheering me on and saying, yes, I'm a finisher too, great, awesome. Okay, but I know a majority of you watching are not. Okay, and that's okay. 
But the reason why is because you cannot trust yourself because you've broken trust with yourself. You do not have faith in yourself because you know that your word means jack shit. That you can tell yourself you're going to wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow and go to the gym and you're not going to fucking do it because you, 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 you can't trust yourself, right? And, and again, this, this kind of overlaps another concept we talked about, but this also is the same concept of being a finisher. So when you say you're going to start something, you need to finish it. It needs to be a principle that's guiding you. It needs to be part of your identity. That's where we started with this video, this idea that your identity now needs to transform. You now to need to become a finisher. You now need to say, I started this, so I am going to finish it. Whether I want to do it anymore, whether I even see the benefit of it anymore. Not to say that you can't ever quit things, okay? But in general, your principle needs to be that when you commit to something, when you say you're going to do something, that you finish. Now, with that said, if you have that mindset, and if you are a finisher, what are you going to commit to? Only the stuff that you're going to finish. So you're going to be very careful. You're going to turn down a lot of shit. You're not going to say a lot of shit. You're not going to run your fucking mouth and promise shit that you're not going to deliver. Because you know that if you say it, and you commit to it, it is going to happen. Okay, this is the, the danger of being a finisher, but also one of the huge benefits is because you're not gonna be starting shit that you're not gonna finish and you're not gonna waste a lot of time. So that's the critical thing, is you gotta really self-identify with being a finisher. I want you from now on to adopt that identity. I want you to say that I do not start things that I don't finish. So if I start this, I'm gonna finish it. And so that should de deter you from starting a lot of things. But the things that you do start, even when you're tired of them, even if you don't want to work on them anymore, again, this ties right into uh, one of the principles we talked about of working without motivation. So even if you don't want to do that shit, you're going to do it because you're a finisher, right? The more of these kind of rules and identities that you have about yourself, okay, about being a fucking bulldog. That's why I tell you guys on this channel, I'm a fucking bulldog. I want you to say that because I don't. it doesn't matter what the fucking animal is. It doesn't matter the dog or, oh, bulldogs are not... I don't care what the attributes are. I, I care about what the attributes in your mind are, right? You know on this channel, you know what I'm about. You know what I, what I am, okay, if you've been watching me for a while. And you know what kind of mentality and mindset I espouse, okay? That is what we're calling the bulldog mindset. So when you call yourself a bulldog and you put that identity on yourself, when you're running, you're going to keep running, Okay? You're not going to give up. You're not going to be afraid of fucking rejection. All of these things, you see, I'm programming you. I don't know if you know this or not, but I'm programming you to become a bulldog and to understand what a bulldog is. I'm, I'm taking this whole umbrella of attributes, of being relentless, of not giving up, of facing rejection, okay? Of being mentally tough, becoming physically strong, becoming stoic, indifferent to pain and pleasure, and taking action, Okay, and doing all this hard shit just because it's hard. I'm giving you all of that into one big package and I'm calling it the bulldog mindset. I'm calling it being a fucking bulldog so that you can take that identity upon yourself and you'll automatically become those things. It's like fucking superhero armor that you put on and now you become fucking Aquaman because you got the trident. Now you put on the fucking tights and you become Superman. Okay, the, the, it's the magic in the, the identity. That identity is key. Your identity, what is it now? Yes, you're a fucking bulldog, but what else? You're a fucking finisher. I want you to be a finisher. That's your homework, <laughs> if there's a homework for this series. Believe it, the more that you say it about yourself, the more true it'll be, the more your subconscious listens to everything you're saying, okay? So when you say, uh, I, I have an anger problem, or I'm lazy, or I don't finish things I start, your subconscious is like, oh, I guess that's true. I guess that's what I'm going to do. But when you say, fuck you, bitch, I'm a fucking finisher. I finish everything I start, okay? You can't stop me because I will finish it. Your subconscious listens, and that's what you become. I'll talk to you next time.